Welcome once again to another installment of my Source Vintage YouTube channel. My first video of 2022. It's so good to be back, so thanks for joining me. Um, and I have another rather fascinating, rather exciting little find to show you guys today. So without further ado, let's get down to business. Now, I have a bit of a fascination with anything antique and anything maritime. So when I found this beautiful and fascinating piece of early 19th century sailor folk art, it made me tingle in places that I never really knew could tingle. Some people buy with their guts, but I buy with me tingles. Sailor art has been a bit of a fascination of mine, and I don't know where this fascination and intrigue comes from, but I guess it has something to do with just the general mysteriousness of the sea and the oceans. So vast, so deep, so powerful. Really, if it wanted to destroy anything, there was nothing that could stand in its way. And when you think of these crews of fishermen, seamen, that go out on these voyages for long extended periods in their little boats, just in the middle of this vast ocean, just left to fend for themselves. Man versus sea. So anything connected to this and anything that can bring this to life for myself, I get rather excited about. And it was during these long voyages that a lot of these crews would entertain themselves like in between probably the heavy drinking they created some of the most beautiful pieces of folk art, whether that's painting of seascapes, other ships that they may pass, sea life that they see, or whether that's carvings from usually the, the bones of fish or sea, other sea life that they catch. It could be a tapestry of sorts. Either way, the inspiration for these pieces comes from the environment that they're in, their surroundings at sea, but some of them strikingly beautiful. Now you'll see on my piece that it's a carving from bone and you'll see that it's been engraved with the wording, the star, and the year of 1803. And you'll see that it's also accompanied by images of a star, a ship, and some fishing spears. So we can safely say that this likely come from a fishing boat. Now, I wasn't holding out much hope of finding out anything further about this piece, to be honest, but how wrong I was. After a little bit of research, I discovered this ship called Star. It was built in Calcutta in 1800 by a John Bannister Hudson. Between 1803 and 1811, she made three seal hunting voyages. From 1812, she sailed as a merchantman until she was wrecked on 18th of December 1829. Its first sealing voyage was in 1803 to 1805. 1803 linking in with the year on my carving. So, so far we've got the same ship name and the same year of their first sealing voyage. Captain James Burney sailed from London on 8th of August 1803 bound for Isle of Desolation. She sailed in company with Thomas Charles Gardner Master and William and Elizabeth J Coffin Master. They were given permission on 14th of October to leave their convoy and separated from each other a little later. Star returned on 18th of June 1805. Now with this being carved out of bone, with it clearly having fishing spears which were used in the fishing of seals, it's likely that these connections are all there to link this with the star. And certainly the image of the boat on this carving links in with similar ships of the time. Not only that, but we've got a, a list of the crew members on board that ship on that sealing voyage in 1803 and it's very very possible that one of those crew members are the artist and the creator of this piece of folk art isn't isn't that incredible i mean it blows my mind the fact that i could be holding something made by one of those crew members in 1803 on that two-year fishing voyage you'll be pleased to hear that this piece is currently available to buy on my website www.source-vintage.co.uk I'll put all the links below for you and whilst you're there you'll also see that I write a blog. Every Monday I write about interesting finds, general trade related things, I do shop and fair reviews, I have the occasional interview with a celebrity antique dealer off the TV. So if that's your cup of tea 
become a Source Social member. Sign up, register, it's free, and you get your weekly blog posts, you get a YouTube video straight to your mailbox, and you get first dibs on all new items before they go live on my website shop. Not only that, but you'll get exclusive deals and discounts as well. So become a Source Social member on the homepage of my website. Not only that, you will also see that I sell some merch in the merch section. So if you want to support this channel, if you want to support Source Vintage, and if you want to walk around with my mug on an item of clothing or a mug, then head on over, get yourself some merch, some Source Vintage merch, and show your support. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for my first video of 2022. It's so good to be back. It's so good to see you all. But until next time, stay safe, keep buying those antiques, and keep spreading that sort of thing.